ताड़ी उठान के घर पे रखोगे तो मैं मुन्ना बाजी के लिए उठान तो आया What's up guys? So today I've got my hands on the new X Goodie X1. This is another budget Android projector priced under 200, jam-packed with some interesting features and specs. So this is in fact running full Android OS. You get an extensive lamp life of up to 100,000 hours. This projector is powered by an Amlogic T972 quad core clocked at 2 GHz along with 2 gigs of RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. You've got 5 GHz Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, brightness is 12,000 lumens. You've got a native 1920 by 1080 full HD resolution and this does support HDR10. This projector can also decode 4K and 8K content. Contrast ratio is 15,000 to 1. You've got manual focus and keystone correction. Maximum optimal screen size is 240 inches. You've got your HDMI inputs, dual cooling fans, and dual 5 watt speakers supporting Dolby Audio. Okay, so I've got the projector all set up, and the first thing I like to do is test out the fan noise. So here is my sound meter. So standing right next to the projector, you can expect a fan noise going up to around 47 decibels. Now if we move back one meter, you can see the fan noise has now dropped down to around 43 decibels. Okay, so the projector is powered up and ready to go. You can see we are projecting around 100 inches with a distance of just under 3 meters. We're projecting directly on a cream colored wallpaper. So I'm not even using a projector screen guys. So this is the home screen and I'll just run you through it. Top left you've got your current date time. Top right hand corner you've got your connection information, so Wi-Fi, USB and Bluetooth. Top row of icons we've got Miracast, Signal Source, File Manager, Settings and then your Keystone Correction. And at the bottom you've got your apps. So we've got Netflix, YouTube, Google Play Store and then you've got the app drawer. If I click on the app drawer, I've not installed anything, these are your standard apps. So you can see this is actually full Android OS built into the projector. So you don't even have to connect up a separate TV box everything is already built in um, but of course you have your HDMI in case you want to connect your game console now first of all let's head over to the main system settings now from here I want to go to device preferences and then go to system storage info and I want to quickly check out the internal storage so we've got 16 gigs of internal storage from which 9.9 .9 gigs are free to use now a lot of apps have already been pre-installed for you so that's probably the reason why you've only got 9 gigs available also, if you go into About, you can see this is actually Android version 9. Okay, so now let's check out some of the projector settings, starting off with Picture. And then if we go to Picture Mode, you'll have a whole bunch of presets that you can play around with, including custom settings, so you can fine tune things according to your own personal preference. Aspect Ratio is set on Auto. If we go back, you've got Projection Method, so Front, Hanging, Rear, or Rear Hanging. Then you've got four point keystone correction. So all four corners can be adjusted to give you a more flat looking image. You've got screen zoom. Now I did have to use screen zoom. So that's 100% zoom and you can see that it overlaps the ceiling and the sides. So I had to actually take it down a few notches in order for it to fit on my wall. And then if you go to more settings, you get the full Android settings to play with. The next thing I wanna test is Miracast, just to make sure it's all working. So I've already connected to Wi-Fi. You've got iOS, DLNA, and Miracast. So first, I'm gonna test iOS screen mirroring. Here's my iPhone 14 Pro, swipe down. It gives you instructions behind on what to do. Um, tap on mirroring, and you should see something called Byte Fly. Tap on it, and any second now, you will see our screen mirrored. And there you go. So screen mirroring working absolutely fine with a very slight lag that you guys can probably notice. So at least iOS screen mirroring is working. All right, so now we're gonna test out Android screen mirroring. So if I go to Miracast, this is my Poco F4 GT, swipe down, select cast, and we're just gonna wait for it to load. It should say ZH45 as shown on the screen there. So we just select that and then I have to accept the permission on the screen like so. And any second now, our phone screen should be mirrored. There you go, guys. And this one actually works with 
no noticeable lag. So very fast Android screen mirroring. We are now gonna test out the built-in applications, YouTube, Netflix, Disney, and Prime. And I'm just gonna show you what sort of streaming quality you can expect from these. Starting off with YouTube. So maximum streaming quality supported is actually 4K60. So it's absolutely struggling with 4K, but unfortunately it does struggle with 4K60 and you will get a lot of frame drops. So I'm gonna drop it down to 1080p60 and see how it plays. Okay, so I've paused it on the lizard. Projection quality actually looks pretty good to me. And if we go close to the lizard, you can see no pixelation up close. The overall projection is looking really nice. All four corners are looking sharp and clear. Now I'm gonna switch the light on and see how the projection looks in the daytime. And even with the light on, the image is looking nice and clear. So that means this projector can be used in the daytime. Okay, gonna switch that light back off and you can see the image looks a lot better. I'm just gonna play a few more trailers, here we go. I can rewrite existence. <laughs> This place is perfect. So that was YouTube streaming. Now let's move on to some Netflix. And I'm actually quite pleased to see that this projector supports 1080p Netflix natively. and Amazon Prime Video also supports 1080p HDR. And Disney Plus also supports full HD streaming with HDR10. So I'm sure that gave you guys a good idea of what to expect when streaming straight from the projector's internal Android. So now I'm gonna change the signal source to HDMI and you can see that PlayStation 5 has been detected automatically. And you can see top left hand corner, it says 1080p60, SDR. So I guess it's time to play some games. Let's begin with Astro's Playroom. Now inside the box you do get a user manual, power cable, an HDMI cable which you don't usually get with projectors, 
you're getting a compact remote control powered by two AAA batteries. And there appears to be a microphone button here. So this could have a built-in microphone for voice searches. And last but not least, the projector itself. But this projector also comes with a very handy zip-up carry case. So you can keep the projector and all accessories nice and safe. So this projector is slightly smaller than a full-size projector. On the front, you can see your lens. There is no lens cover included. You've got the X Goody logo and it says 8K video decode Dolby Audio. Now on the top, you've got navigational control and power button and they are all touch controls. On the side, you can see here, you've got manual focus adjustment, power socket. On the back, you've just got some grills, speaker grills, etc. On the side in the corner there, you can see that's an infrared for the remote control. On the back, we have two HDMI inputs, so you can hook up your favorite TV box, Fire TV stick, you can hook up your favorite game console, and enjoy any of those on a massive 240 inch display. We've got two USB ports, AV port, and a headphone jack, and that brings us back to the front, and this is what the bottom of the projector looks like. So underneath we have a single tripod thread. I did remove the sticky feet to see if there were any more, but no, there isn't. And the larger thread is actually for the elevation screw. And that will give the projector some elevation should you need it. So there you have it guys. That was the X Goody X1 Android projector. And here are my thoughts. So the caveats, first of all, fan noise is quite loud at 47 decibels speaker quality is also not the best as it does slightly distort on maximum volume and the volume does not get very loud either android 9 feels a bit outdated although it's fully functional with google play store and hd streaming across the board now that being said projection quality is quite decent with movies and games looking bright and sharp and the colors and contrast can also be adjusted to suit this supports 4K decoding, which means getting a large 4K image and scaling it down to 1080p, which in return makes it look even better than native 1080p. Now Netflix, Prime and Disney all play in HD quality natively, which is good news. And I also like that you have screen mirroring for both Android and iOS, and they both appear to work absolutely fine. And the included remote control, surprisingly enough, was actually a Bluetooth remote. So very responsive and greater operating range. And to give you a better idea, here is my top LED video projector chart for 2023, showing you all the latest projectors and seeing how they compare with each other. And all the projectors are ranked by projection quality and overall features. And as you can see, the X Goody X1 has taken position 11 on this chart. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So bottom line, considering this projector is priced under 200, the overall experience is very good for the price. So yes, I can recommend this projector as a beginner projector. Um, certainly can't go wrong at that price point. Now that's all for this video. Don't forget to like and sub if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.